Welcome to Renursing EDU, where we help nurses make moves in their professional careers. My name is Nicole Johnson, and today's video is actually going to be a quick tutorial on how to change any Word document into a full PowerPoint presentation in less than five minutes. This will save so much time for you if you're a student or if you're a business owner like me and you deal with a lot of PowerPoint presentations. So I wanna share this quick hack with you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's jump right into the video. So this is super simple, but I want to preface this with the fact that you need to have OneDrive installed on your computer. So OneDrive is the cloud for Microsoft, and that's the equivalent of what Google Drive is for Google. So if you are a Mac user like me, you can most definitely install Microsoft Word for Mac, and I have the whole OneDrive system over here for people who send me Word documents. I don't necessarily like going through Google all the time. So you have to make sure you have OneDrive installed on your computer in order for this to work. If you use Google Docs and Google Drive, you can just download whatever file it is that you want into a Word document and then upload it back into OneDrive and it'll work just the same. So this works for files that are in outline format or if it's just straight text. So what I'm going to show you is going to be straight text. This is a presentation that I'm going to do. I'm going to change it into a webinar and this is what it looks like. So it's basically just straight text. There are no outlines, no Roman numerals, no nothing. So what you do is you open whatever file it is that you want to switch into a PowerPoint presentation and you go to the file tab and then down here you go to export and then you hit export to PowerPoint presentation. And what it's going to do, it's gonna give you design themes that are AI generated, which is super cool, because if you want to stick with this thing, that's completely fine and it's already done for you. Or you can actually later on down the line design your own, but this is just gonna put the words on the PowerPoint presentation for you. And you and I both know that that is the longest when you're creating a PowerPoint presentation is putting those words on the slides and making sure that they look correct. So there are a few themes that you can choose from and the things that are AI generated are pretty limited, but, um, and they seem to switch around every time I do this. So I'm just going to choose one. And obviously if you want to do the plain one here, you can most definitely do that. That's always going to be an option, but I'm just going to choose one that looks visually appealing to me. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So you click on whatever design it is that you want and you click the export button. And within a couple seconds, it's going to have your PowerPoint presentation. So our PowerPoint presentation is done. Look at this. So you open the presentation and it has all the words that you had on that Word document divided into PowerPoint slides for you. This is so cool. This is a complete game changer for students. This is a game changer for business owners like me who are trying to create courses and trying to do this in record time. So all I have to do is write everything out in a Word document and then export it like this and then I can have everything in a PowerPoint presentation. This is so cool. So my Word document turned into approximately 14 slides you can see over here and you see that it has the design theme that I chose and if for some reason I wanted to change it, it's all changeable. So if you come over to the right to the designer, these are more AI generated design ideas and you can do this for every single slide. You can click a button and then the slide is going to change. So you can most definitely go through and change whatever you like depending on your own preferences. In addition to that, if you don't like any of these AI generated stuff, you can most definitely still come over to PowerPoint and you can use the old fashioned designs that PowerPoint has, or maybe you have a theme that you've already uploaded and you can apply that to your presentation. So most definitely this saves a ton of time. You're just going to have to go through and just clean some things up like you know, this was the body content for my webinar. I'm most definitely not going to have that on the PowerPoint presentation, but this is just, I mean, this makes things so much easier. 
So let me know in the comments if you like this hack and please like this video, subscribe to Renursing EDU and I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Have a great day.